Hi, thanks for hitting play. A Google search for the term critical thinking returned over 100 million hits in 0.17 seconds. No one has the time to sift through all of that information, so we are going to focus on two research-based critical thinking structures and how they help us improve instruction and assessment for all kids. The first of these is revised Bloom's Taxonomy, also known as RBT. The structure of RBT is meant to provide a scale to measure thought processes from lower order to higher order brain functions. The second critical thinking structure is Webb's Depth of Knowledge, which lays out four different levels to measure the complexity of thought necessary to complete tasks at each level. The original Bloom's Taxonomy was introduced in 1956 and became a widespread standard for planning instruction aimed at engaging students in various levels of thinking to improve higher order thinking skills. After decades of classroom use, educational researchers made some changes to the original taxonomy to make it more useful, hence revised Bloom's Taxonomy. Around the same time, Norman Webb was developing a structure for aligning educational standards, curriculum, and assessment, and voila, Webb's Depth of Knowledge, aka Webb's DOK. This is a framework to categorize and create tasks with careful consideration for all the knowledge and skills required to complete them. Let's take a look at the six levels of RBT. Remembering involves recalling and recognizing knowledge from our long-term memory. Understanding involves the ability to summarize, compare, explain, or classify. It requires us to derive meaning from the knowledge that we remember. Applying involves the use of information we remember and or understand to an activity. For example, we may execute or implement a procedure during a task. Analyzing involves breaking material down into meaningful parts. We have to determine how the parts are related and how each part relates to the whole. Evaluating involves making judgments based on certain criteria. We may check material within a source for consistency or critique material based on a separate set of standards. Creating involves using information, material, and ideas to produce something completely original or presented in, an, in a new way. In other words, we use pieces of what we know to generate new material or reorganize it. Educators had been using some version of Bloom's taxonomy for a while when Webb introduced his depth of knowledge structure. Because both structures use similar terms, many folks thought that it was like picking sides. You had to be either Team Bloom or Team Webb. But Bloom and Webb do not have conflicting messages. They actually work together. So let's see how RBT's levels of thinking work in Webb's depth of knowledge to measure the complexity of tasks. Level one of Webb's DOK is recall. A recall task only requires us to pull knowledge out of our brains and reproduce it. Level two in Webb's DOK is skill or concept. This kind of task requires us to make use of knowledge in a different way than we learned it. Level three in Webb's DOK is strategic thinking. These tasks require short-term use of skills like analysis and evaluation to prioritize and justify thinking on real-world predictable situations. Level 4 in Webb's DOK is extended strategic thinking. These tasks demand extended real-world investigation of topics and concepts with no simple answers or solutions. Let's look at a common core literacy standard to see what all this means to us in our classrooms. Take a moment to read. So, we have five different verbs that we can categorize into the various levels of RBT. Which verb belongs in which level is a good discussion for your PLC. There may not be one correct answer to that question, but the discussion can give us an idea of the different kinds of thought processes a student will have to use to meet this reading standard and help us plan differentiated instruction. The simple verbs in this standard belie the true complexity of what this standard actually demands. Let's look closer and consider the kind of task a learner would perform to demonstrate mastery of this standard. On the surface, this standard seems to be about making inferences and drawing conclusions, but there's more than that. In order for a reader to make logical inferences, they must think strategically, and in order to support conclusions <clears throat> with specific evidence from a text, a reader must be able to prioritize and evaluate all evidence and select the most appropriate evidence. This kind of task is a level 3 on Webb's DOK, and with full-length literature or long-term research, it easily becomes a level 4. Help our students climb higher by using this knowledge of critical thinking and task complexity. Examine standards for the levels of RBT ver verbs included. Design instructional tasks at the upper levels of DOK and plan instruction that scaffolds learning to meet those higher levels. Keep RBT and DOK in mind when choosing classroom materials that are both on level and makes our students stretch their capacity.